what's up guys welcome back to the channel um, today we're going to get the dyna up on the lift and start the tear down required to change the rear sprocket out um, when i originally did the chain drive setup i thought the uh, 60 tooth rear sprocket would be a good idea but uh, maybe learning these wheelies for a noob um, is, is really not a good idea i'm going to go to a 55 rear sprocket and that's right in between from full-fledged 100 percent kill mode to stock so i uh, have have a buddy that's been running his for a week now and he seems to enjoy it so that's what we're going to go with so let's get the dyna up on the lift and start to tear down of the rear wheel there so just wanted to do a little side by side comparison uh, on the left here is a bung king rear 55 2 sprocket and a, a stock sprocket that's just powder coated black and uh it looks to be a very similar size but of course you know with the chain kit you actually go with a smaller tooth in the rear i believe it's a 24 so but yeah let's get the dyno on the lift and we'll go from there Dyna back up on the lift. Um, what we need to do is jack up the rear wheel to get the rear wheel off of there. And the axle is basically just a giant bolt. Um, nut on one side, or bolt head on one side, nut on the other. And there's spacers in between, a left and right spacer, and of course the brake caliper. So um, what we need to do is, is uh, pop the little cotter C-clip, E-clip, I think is what they call it off of there. Loosen this nut, pull the axle out, and pull the wheel off. But we need to get our little uh, lifting pad underneath here to get it jacked up. But you can use a traditional motorcycle lift to do this. Um, Harbor Freight sells them, they're pretty cheap. I've had this one for a really long time and it's served me really well. So if, if you don't have one of those, go pick one of those up. I highly recommend it, they're like a hundred bucks. And that way you can lift up your motorcycle to change tires and stuff. So let's get this rear wheel off of there. There it is guys, we have the rear sprocket all installed on the wheel, torqued down, Loctite, and all that good stuff. And yeah, as you can see, um, 
it looks like maybe two links got to come out of it now this bunch right here you can see um, that's we need to shorten a chain so uh, there is a master link it's a rivet master link what we have to do is grind these uh, ends off to remove that master link and we'll take out a couple links it looks like we'll put it up there and fit it again and see where we need to put our master link but yeah that's that's what we do is, is grind these away um, to pull the master link out and then we'll have to take a couple out and then re-rivet them back in there's a little tool to to use um, to rivet those master links back in I prefer this style over the C clip the C clip style um, that way it's a lot more permanent and steady and everything like that so let's get to grinding We got all the slack out of the chain. Um, I have it sitting down on the suspension and it's in neutral. We pulled both sides of the upper and lower chain to get it tight and went around and it looks like uh, one, two, looks like two links we have to take out. So what we'll have to do is, is grind away this pin so we can have two opens to put our master link in. Um, but yeah, we have the axle moved all the way forward. So we have some adjustment. There's some slack in the in the chain there And yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll grind away this one back here Put our master link in re-rivet it and we should be good to go adjust the axle back out And we'll be rocking and rolling for this weekend So that's it guys, got the dyno off the lift, uh, ready for this weekend to go hammer the lot. And got the chain all de-shortened and everything. Uh, this is a little comparison I wanted to do to the uh, 60 tooth, um, to the stock pulley. And you really can't tell because of the lip on the stock pulley, but this new one is uh, significantly smaller. I mean, I took almost three links out of that chain to get it to fit so once again guys i appreciate the support uh thanks for subscribing thanks for watching and we'll see you guys at the lot on the next one take it easy